Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the Patriot Bald Eagle. Today, we are drinking Joffrey's again, same coffee I had yesterday for last night's Coffee Rant. If you have to pause on this video, have coffee with us on this glorious morning. Let us know what coffee you're drinking this morning. Today, we are talking about prepping. We are talking about making sure that you are well stocked as prices continue to rise in this country and around the world. Prices continue to rise on groceries. We have shortages that seem to be coming from all angles. We are going to discuss all of this today on Adventures with Dano, your information network. That is what we do. No matter what video we put out here, we try to be as informative as possible. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, Dana, what's really your niche? You seem to do all kinds of stuff. Well, life is an adventure. Life is everything that me and Jess can put into some entertainment, some information, different things going on. A lot of things that on our channel have to do with food, preparation, saving items, stocking up. I know prepping kind of gets a bad name sometimes, but you can look at it many different ways. Uh, stocking up for the future, um, saving money for the future because you're stocking up now, buying up the deals, the sales as you see them, as we discuss all the time on this channel. Guys, it's getting crazier. It's getting crazier. I, I'm not pulling the we're in trouble button, but we need to discuss how we could be in trouble if we are not preparing for the future. Guys, things are just coming from all angles, like we said. Um, I read a report the other day. Uh, on Yahoo News, so take that for what you will, but there, it is a true statement that a lot of uh, areas in the UK are having torrential downpours, even when as far as saying that they may not have much harvest this year, that everything has been drowned in water. And they show a bunch of photos. This is all on Yahoo News. You can look up food shortages. Uh, there's an article up front and center on Yahoo News about some different things in the UK. Now, we deal with some of these issues in the U.S. as well, mostly for drought. Some areas of the country have uh, a lot heavier rain than normal. But this, they actually went in to say that some of the crops may not even leave the farmland in the U.K. And this proves to be quite disturbing. And another reason why we need to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves, taking care of our family, uh, getting in touch with friends and neighbors, Letting them know, spread the message. Feel free to share our message to your social media, Facebook, whatever you, whatever you would like. Uh, we welcome that, as we need to get this information out here, guys. One thing I want to say here too that it's been a long time since I've said this. It's never too late. It's never too late to start stocking up on some of these items. Just something to where you know that you got yourself covered for a month or two. Now, some people will say that's crazy. No, you need to make sure you're preparing for six months to a year. Um, we don't have that kind of room, you know, we're, we're, we're good for a few months. I'll, I'll say that, right? I mean, we, we got enough to where something happened, some cataclysmic event, which I guess it wouldn't matter at that point anyway, but you know, we are a little bit prepared that in case something happens, we got a bunch of food on the back burner that we can rely on to sustain ourselves, uh, maybe get us through the summer. Right, And we constantly cycle these things in and out as we go along. That's why we have memberships to Sam's Club, Costco. We do videos at these places as well so that we can show and share some of the ideas and thoughts and the ways that we shop to save money in the long run. The other day, we, me and Jessica did a shopping haul video at Sam's Club. And we saved all, just about $60 of what these products would have cost us at Kroger. Now, the membership fee at Sam's Club is $50. So we actually saved a little bit more than what the membership fee cost in one day. In one day. I know we get a lot of viewers on here that say, well, it's just me and my husband. We, it's really not worth it to us. It may not be, but really, it's just me and Jess. And we save a fortune by shopping at Sam's. Uh, we don't get out to Costco as much. Costco is more because we have a lot of viewers that shop at Costco, and I, I, I want to make sure that we're still able to, you know, we keep renewing our membership. We don't get, we still save the money at Costco. We do. We don't get out there as much. I need to get out there more, honestly. Before we go any further, let's take a little sip of our coffee here. Oh, that's good. 
I love Joffrey's coffee. Another thing that we need to be stocking up on is coffee. We've been seeing sale prices on coffee go up. Coffee is getting more expensive. We said this was going to happen. We said this was going to happen. So if you are a, a diehard coffee lover like myself, you want to make sure that when you're seeing some of these sales, you know, whether it's some of the ones that we point out throughout the week or throughout the month, or just ones that you stumble upon, be ready. Be ready. And, and what I mean by never too late, it, it's better now than never. Okay, if you're if you're looking, look at what's going on. Look at what's going on to even if you're on a budget tight, um, you know, a really tight budget. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree prices are about to go up. I don't know what the prices are going to be, right? We, none of us do. We know they're going to sell different items. We know they're going to start mixing items in, right? Have a dollar twenty five item here and a three dollar item here, which I don't like. I wish they would just be in separate aisles, but apparently they're going to start rolling that out. There have been rumors that at some Dollar Trees, they're going to be going up to $1.50. I have not, I've talked to a couple people that work, they don't know anything about a $1.50 thing. They know about the $7 cap for different, uh, bigger items that they're going to sell, uh, and the mix and match thing and the mixing in the items. But as far as $1.50 goes, we don't know. We don't know yet. I will be keeping a close eye on this as we go along. Uh, Dollar General, we continue to get comments of wrong prices. Okay, now I thought they covered this issue. I thought it, they, they also had an issue w with boxes and stuff being everywhere. <clears throat> I really feel bad for Dollar General because I feel like they're getting the, the, uh, the short end of the stick here because we see this everywhere. We see this at Dollar Tree also. We see it at Family Dollar. We see it at a lot of places that don't hire a lot of people that expect one or two people to run the entire store. Well, it's finally starting to catch up. Okay. And now I feel like because Dollar General has had this issue, we, we, we're seeing Dollar Tree and a lot of other stores that are hiring more people so that they don't run into that issue. Now, I don't know that for a complete fact. All I know is, is that when I go into a Dollar Tree now, looks like there's a lot more people working there. And Dollar General. I've been to a couple different Dollar Generals. It looks like they got more employees in there as well. As far as prices go, I've all, it doesn't matter where I shop. This is just kind of instilled in my brain that if I see something that looks off, I take a photo of it, right? I mean, I'm that same kind of person. Like, if I'm going and I'm getting a bunch of digital deals at Kroger, sometimes those do mess up, right? So I take a photo of it. Yeah, chances are they're probably still going to go back there and check it out and all that stuff. But, you know, at least you at least you feel better about it, I guess. You got the proof that, hey, this was on here. If this, if this wasn't supposed to be there, that's your mistake, not mine. Either give it to me for that price or put it back. Like I, you know, I mean, that's just, that's how I am. I'm not gonna, I don't overpay. I don't overpay when it comes to food. I've always been that way. That is how I was raised. Uh, we've always done coupons throughout my, my family history, right? My mom, my grandma, everybody has always done coupons. We never overpay for things when we can get a deal. And that is true in all of our aspects in life between me and Jess, when it comes to the places we travel, we get the best deals. Uh, when it comes to food, we're always getting a discount when we're out of town. It's just how we are. That's just how we are. We're all about saving money in ways so that we can actually afford to do some of the things that we want to do in life, right? Because that's really what it is. Save money here so that you can spend it here. This is what you really want to do. But if you're going to do that, you may need to save it here. That's, that's how we've always been. That's how we're able to do what we do. But guys, some of these things that we need to prepare on are some of the items that we went over uh, last night. So if you missed that video, uh, check it out. It was uh, really, yeah, last night. So you can scroll through our videos. Uh, the, the, the thumbnail, it's getting ugly. And guys, it really is. It really is. Some of these prices are getting out of hand again. Not so much regular prices, but it is sale prices. So not only are we having to pay attention to uh, what's on sale and what the best deals are, it's should I wait that second time around to see if that sale goes lower? Well, you can think like I do, and it's like, well, I have my limits. And I know a lot of our viewers have their limits too. You're not going to pay a certain amount. If it's if it's this much over, you're just not going to pay it. You'll we, 
You will try something else. You will be creative in what you eat. And these are things that we are starting to do ourselves. Jessica's been doing a lot of different meals, like different combining things, uh, different things she finds off of Pinterest and, and, and uh, you know, some other sites, you know, different getting creative with some meals, taking a lot of different chicken and mixing it out throughout the week with different meals, putting things together. It makes it very cheap. It makes it healthy. And it makes it to where you're you're doing new things, right? And I think that's really where I get excited about it for, for Jess and me, is we're getting creative with meals. The more and more expensive things get, the more and more we have to cr get creative with meals. And in my opinion, that kind of creates a balance between what we're having to deal with with these ridiculously high prices and how we're able to level that out and not spend not fall into having to spend that crazy amount of money. Back to prepping. So when we have items that we see that are on a sale, sometimes not. Sometimes you're just not going to find a deal on some of these things anymore. This is where the other thing comes into play. Something else I also talked about last night. Items disappearing. Items have been disappearing off the shelves all around the country and around the world. We're dealing with a lot of canned goods missing. Right now, around here, we're dealing with a lot of shortages of tomatoes. Canned tomatoes. Now, what happened? We started hearing a lot of people talk about this on the channel. That's why we do this. So that we can communicate. Get the information out there to where we can bring it in. And we, because you probably... It's, and me even doing this on the channel here, I'll go to the store and I'm like, what are people talking about? There's full aisle here of canned goods of tomatoes, right? And, and I, it's just the way the brain thinks. But what, you have to train yourself to think like, okay, Dano on his channel here, all his viewers, a lot of viewers are saying that, that canned tomatoes are flying off the shelves and not coming back in. So you have to think, okay, I, I now when I go to the store and I see all the different canned tomatoes right now, well, then I'm buying all the ones that I need for like the next month. And and that'll probably stretch for a couple months because really, when because I'll find a sale. I'll find a good deal. I'll buy up a little bit extra. That's what they want you to do. That's why it's on sale. No limits on a lot of it. Some, you know, that's what I don't like about digital coupons, especially at places like Kroger's. You have your limits where it's even less at Meijer. You have like one chance. You have one opportunity to get that one deal and then you'll get the sale price of Meyer, but it's never as good as like anywhere else. It's kind of why I'm falling out of love with Meyer. I, I I don't know. There's been a lot of things where just the sales, you know. Now, let's say that money's not an option to you, which it should be. It should be. But let's just say for a second that it's not. If money wasn't an option for me, then I would love Meyer a lot more because the quality is fantastic, you know. And, and, and let's talk about canning and stuff like that. If you're canning your own products, if you're preserving some of your vegetables, some of your meat, some of this stuff for the future, if you're creating a ginormous pantry for yourself to last for a long time, you want quality, right? I mean, if, let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong. Do people, if you're, now me and Jessica don't can our own products, which we hope to here in the future, maybe when we uh, move into a new house or something where we have the kind of room to do that. Probably, I'd like to try it. I'd like to do it. I know my grandma always canned a lot. I, I've done it before, but I mean, it's, you know, it's been with her. It's never been by my, it's never my own canning process. Okay, but let me know down in the comments. When you're canning your own goods, aren't you really seeking quality over the best price? Like, you don't want to put a really cheap, possibly nasty piece of meat and can it for years later, right? I mean... I, I just, if I was to do it, I would want quality. Yes, always try to find the best deal. But even if you're not finding the best deal, it could be in the future of just knowing that you found it. And here we are on to the second part of this video. Maybe it's not such a bad idea just to buy it to know you have it. Because we are seeing shortages on different things. Well, okay, so we haven't seen much shortages on chicken here lately but we've been getting a lot of comments on it and what comes hand in hand with that it comes back at a much higher price we have been seeing prices on chicken go through the roof i mean it's been 
ridiculous how expensive chicken is getting. Pork is probably even more ridiculous. Still cheaper than chicken on average. But not only is pork going up in price, the regular price staying the same, sale price is what's going up on that. So if you're waiting around like we talk about, wait, buy up the sales when you see them. Even if it's a month, hopefully you got enough stocked in your freezer or put away to get you that next sale. But now we're getting to those next sales. And it's getting really expensive. So what do I do here? Well, if you're in the process of, of making sure that you're stocking up on things, sometimes you just want to make sure that you're getting it. And I know this sounds crazy for me to say, but some of this stuff, you can't worry as much about the price. Because we've been seeing pork fly off the shelves when... My personal opinion here, okay? This is just my opinion. I really think a couple months ago, we were completely lied to about all this pork. That that all these different companies like Smithfield and Tyson, all the, and, and who, yeah, they probably were lying because they want you to keep buying it, right? But I believe, I, I, I don't want to say wholeheartedly, but I do believe that they were wrong. That they lied, maybe not lied, but maybe put it out in a different area because we are seeing shortages of pork. Not that it's gone, but it's a lot lower than it's ever been. I, I talked about this last night for a second. I know these two videos probably kind of coincide. This could be talked as as a part two, part two, the prepping edition of last night's video. So if you missed last night's video, I do encourage you to go back and watch that one as we do go into a lot of the food shortages price increases, and items that are disappearing from the grocery stores. And after doing that video, I kind of thought about something. I was like, maybe some of this stuff, we don't worry about the price, right? Because when it when you look at it this way, like, okay, okay, Walmart 10-pound bag of sugar, $8.17. It's, it's about the same as it is or more than most store brand sugars. Should I worry about that? In the immediate factor, do I need sugar? I spend the extra money on Domino sugar. I'll just tell you that right now. I, I want the pure cane Domino sugar. And now it's only 50, 60 cents more at Walmart. And, and what, what's happening? It's disappearing, right? We're seeing the store. That's why I, I don't know what's going to happen. But we always have these different shortages everywhere of sugar, right? People keep commenting on it on the chain. You can't find you. We see shortages around here too. There's been a couple times at Sam's Club where there hasn't been any 10 pound bags of sugar. They'll have a few of the 25 pound bags. You know, who has room for that though? I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you do, uh, but we don't. And, um, you know, a lot of the different things with some of the, some of the flour, stuff like that too. It's like, not only does it come in short supply, but when it does, yes. It'll come back at a higher price. But should we really worry about that in a time where things are disappearing and not coming back? Okay, let's talk. So since our video from the other day, uh, some people were talking about different rices that not only have gone up in price, but are not coming back. Now, we've seen some of that at Walmart. Uh, well, some people were talking, I, I did see at Walmart, it was a lot lower than normal. I do that two, three week thing and we'll see if they're coming back in. Now, if the same products are missing the next time I go to Walmart, yes, it's an issue. And it is an issue because we're all talking about this. We're able to get all this information out here as quickly as possible. And I thank you all for that, right? Because this, this kind of goes hand in hand, kind of what we're talking about today in prepping, right? And this is just food. We're not really getting into some of the other things. But let me, before I miss this, okay, I wrote this specific note down here today. That we need to make sure that with all these things going away, if you love Dollar Tree, if you love Dollar General, if you love Family Dollar, if uh, the ones uh, are closing, right, the, uh, the 99 center, 99 only center, out those are mostly out there's four states i think nevada california uh texas and another state that are affected 371 stores that are closing they are closing okay there has been something where they said they're going to try to keep half of them open but 
from what I read, they're closing those first and then going to reopen somehow. So we're going to wait on that. I was going to do, I was going to do a sole video on that. I was like, no, we'll just throw that in here somewhere because this kind of goes in line with what I want to talk about. And that is before we see these prices go up again, get to Dollar Tree, get to Dollar General, get these deals that you want before it's too late. Get these things before they do go up to a dollar fifty or a dollar seventy-five. I mean, there's rumors of all kinds of different prices. I haven't seen anything that says solid. Per dollar Tree has not come out and said dollar fifty. At least in anything that I've read. Make sure you let us know down in the comments if you have seen anything. You know, let us know what's going on as well. Make sure you abbreviate any kind of shortages or things disappearing or price increases. Make sure you let us know down in the comments with your state. Uh, abbreviated state, city, and state preferably because chances are you, you probably have a thousand neighbors, a thousand people in your state that watch our channel here. I mean, we're growing every day and we are constantly expanding into a community, a, a solid community of information, of information that is, you know, through these coffee rants, through, through our journeys, you know, anything we do Usually we try to provide as much information on the things that we do as possible. And I just want to make sure that everybody is, is preparing themselves for whatever future we have. So if you are stocking up on things and you're saying, saying to yourself, I don't know why I'm getting all this stuff. I don't see where I'm ever going to need it. You never know. You never know. There could be a total blackout. There could be a hurricane. There could be a tornado. There could be this, you know, I'm just saying like, there's all kinds of things that can happen. Always good to have yourself a little bit prepared for the future because you never know what's going to happen. And the not knowing is the, and the thing is, is if this stuff never happens, great, great. Then you have a lot of food that if you've been watching Adventures with Dana, hopefully you have saved on some of these products as we go through a lot of these different sales and things and ways to save money on said groceries, different ways of doing this. I know, I know probably half of our channel here. I, I feel like half don't, don't really care for Sam's club, uh, and those kind of big box stores. And that's fine. That's fine. But let me say this too. Not only are you getting a, a pretty decent deal at Sam's Club with a lot of things, the quality is fantastic, right? And, and as we see, if we see things come down in price, like on different meats and stuff like that, they'll come down at Sam's Club too. If you look at what Choice Ribeyes cost it at Walmart, and I know it's kind of funny talking about their own people, their own store, right? Which is great, fifteen ninety seven a pound. For a ribeye, choice ribeye at Walmart, thirteen forty eight a pound at Sam's Club. Like, why can't it be thirteen forty eight a pound at Walmart? Like, I, 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 I don't know. I will say this though: the meat quality. I feel like they're buying from two different people here, because because Sam's Club meat quality is fantastic. Plus, they have butchers and stuff, so they're cutting it fresh. It's always good. It's always nice. Uh, plus, if you want any prime meats, they will cut it back there for you. Because and, and I did find out that's the reason why they're not putting out a lot of the different prime meats uh, in the front. Because if they're not selling them, they don't want them sitting there. Might as well be sitting in the back where they can just cut it all fresh for you. Good to go. Another reason why I like Meyer. Meyer cuts everything fresh. Everything is done right there. It's pretty awesome. I mean, Meyer, and you're getting a good quality and a good price at Meyer as well. So there is a lot of good things at Meyer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but you know, we just want to make sure that when we come across these deals that we are stocking up on them. Make sure that you're, because if you, if you do the math, right, do the math of the things that you always buy. I'm sure we have people out here that are, that go to the grocery store once a week. Tell me if this is you. You go to the grocery store once a week. You buy like one or two items that maybe you didn't, but don't usually buy. You probably found a good deal on her. So try something new. But most of the items that you buy for the week are probably all the same. Okay? So if you take those items that probably most of the time you're overspending on, you're overspending. Some stuff you could seriously overspend, like coffee and stuff like that. If you try like buying some of these items and holding off on these, like buy some extra of some of these items, like coffee. If coffee's, say Folgers coffee's on sale for $5.99 on a digital coupon. 
Who knows if we'll ever see that deal again. Just an example. Buy five of them. Buy five of them because you have a limit to buy five. And it's like, look at what the price is after that. I mean, it's it's uh, $10.49, $11, depending on where you're at, for, for a 25.9 ounce canister. Yeah, buy five of them and you're going to save, you're going to save a force of four, 20, you're going to save like $23 in the future. $23. And, and if, and I, I say this too, because if you're on a budget, you may have to do it like this. Okay. Me, like I said, this is how we shop. We only buy the sales. We only buy the sales. So, so when we're going in and out of places and stuff like this, we're making sure that we're buying the things that we need a little extra and then making sure that we have what we need. You know, sometimes things are different and you have to buy that. That's why I talk about getting the one or two items. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Like last week, I needed to get some medicine, right? One of them we were out of, right? Well, I actually I actually did find a deal on one of them and I bought up a couple because it was like, well, okay, got a couple few years on this one. And some medicine, honestly, probably lasts a lot longer than the best of use by date or expiration date. Don't quote me on that though. It's just, that's just what I think. But guys, just wanted to put this video out here because we, we're seeing things happen. We're seeing stores close. We're seeing these value stores that are going to start closing or raising prices. Wanted to bring the awareness to you because we have a lot of people that stock up and throw into their preps on items from Dollar Tree. And you don't want to be caught, or at least you don't want to be caught with that happened overnight sorry dollar 75 an item you know when you could have bought all this stuff for a lot cheaper not saying that is going to happen but with the way the events have gone over the last few years here things happen overnight they don't they don't they ain't going to give you no notice that's what i'm saying like when dollar tree comes out and says prices are a dollar 50 it's already happened right <laughs> that's they're not going to come out here and say dollar 50 because they're going to for one, they they don't want to say nothing, right? Because they want you to just show up at Dollar Tree and have to spend a dollar fifty on all those items. Is that bad business? Absolutely. Is it smart business? Probably, because you know people are going to have too much time to think if they actually come out and say, "Well, prices are a dollar fifty. Some stuff has gone up at Dollar Tree that I've seen at ours to a dollar fifty, like uh, reading glasses." Uh, somebody had mentioned a couple other things that had gone up to a dollar fifty, um, but they're they're random things. It's not like it's not like all items that were a dollar twenty five are now a dollar fifty. So we need to remember that, but we also need to remember that if we want to get these deals while they're here, don't hesitate. After watching this video, maybe you should go to Dollar Tree and get some of your favorite items. Stock up on some. If you have a little bit of extra money, maybe throw some of the different things. I know people look at some of the prices on toothpaste and toothbrushes. And, and, and oral hygiene and, and different things, you know, look at, you know, if you buy a lot of their paper products, get on it, get on it now before the prices go up. That's why we talk about stocking up on these things before it's too late. So really the message of, about being prepared is, is the message of get there and stock up on it of the things you love before prices go up again. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.